This podcast was edited and uploaded by Uncle G Productions. Hey guys, and welcome everyone to the Triple G Podcast. I am your host, Uncle Jeep, and with me is host your media gaming. We record this podcast live every Thursday at 8 p.m. Eastern Standard Time. You can listen to this podcast on Apple, Spotify, Google, Google, or anywhere you can find a podcast. You can also watch our video podcast over on youtube.com slash drip jeep drip. How are you doing this week? I'm doing good. I'm doing great. I'm doing fantastic. Um, I'm doing even better now that you're blinking at me like that. <laughs> uh mario movie man it yeah was awesome. baby it oh, was man. awesome it was, was it was so great right it was the best movie uh, ever saw right? you yeah. didn't see i got my bucket dude i got my bucket <laughs> honestly love the movie way more excited about the bucket though really excited about the uh the question mark block bucket yeah. um that uh i got big plans for it man i'm gonna do something i'm gonna put big either I, I found there's a piranha plant lamp piranha it's, plant lamp it's a piranha plant lamp but it's in like a warp pipe right but what i want to do is like make that look like it's a like a pot you know what i mean and yeah. then put the lamp in there so it looks like it's planted as a plant in a pot yeah right you know what i mean yeah and exactly a little, cra- like little, like a little craft a little, 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 little crafty you know? craft 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 either that or i'm just going to put an actual plant in it i did look today to see like what you have to do to keep like an actual venus fly trap alive not much you have to feed it live bugs, dude. Not much at all. You just got to, like, baby it like a baby. You got to feed it. You got to cradle bugs. it. Like, like you I actually know, have you, to feed it bugs. You I can't hold it in your hands and cradle and give it a little kissy on its little face. And if you don't, I mean, it'll die. I, I can barely, I mean, I can barely keep the plants up here alive. And all you got to just put water in them. You can barely drink water and stay hydrated yourself. That's what let I'm alone, saying. I can't let alone feed. feed dead flies or alive flies, actually. Alive. Sometimes. Yeah, alive. Alive. Yeah. I would, dude, I would pay money to see you try to keep a Venus flytrap alive. 24 hour live yeah, stream I, camera. Yeah. I don't, I don't, and it that. live. So, will it live? It won't live. And it'll get pissed. It'll start biting me. <laughs> so, so, I, I don't I think, I don't put, think it works. I, I don't think it works play. like that. I don't it think it works like it that. Doesn't. They don't have teeth. They're they don't have like, brains. It's more they, like a, they like don't a, think for themselves. They're like, like that's a cage. A, I believe right I believe that there's like a slight misconception about them. They're like they they think they don't really think. They think just as much as another plant does. They just have like weird. It's basically senses. They can sense these things. Yeah, and it just closes. And it just closes. It's not and then eating it just anything. Digests it. Yeah, it, but like not like the way it we do it. it. No, it eats it. Right, but not the same way we eat. Yeah, it's it very like different. Swallow it. It doesn't swallow. <laughs> yeah. Yeah, it's very different in lots of ways. But anyway, this is the whole podcast about piranha plants now. Drip, yeah. uh, why is piranha plant your favorite Smash character? I don't know. I, I really like piranha plant, man. I just, I'm, I'm a fan. I don't You're know. A I'm a fan. I'm a piranha plant fan. Piranha plant fan. Guys, uh, yeah. you heard the man. Uh, he's a piranha man, plant fan. Uh, the this guy who likes piranha plants. I'm a if piranha got- plant guy. If you're listening on the audio side of things, or like maybe after the fact on YouTube, and you're wondering why these guys sound like they don't know what they're doing, it's probably because we don't, number one. And number two is that we tried the intro four times, right? And we failed. No, four no, times. Let's, let's, let's back up for a second there. Let's back up. You. Don't you, start, don't you do this. Don't you do it. tried don't the you do intro. This. Don't you do this. You. You don't tried you the do, intro four Don't times. you put this on me. Do you know how much I have to do with that intro? Absolutely nothing. I sit here. <laughs> That's all I do. All I got to do is sit here and shut my mouth. Well, do that more often, Drift. That's what you do. I mean, Except for, actually, no, no. That's funny you say that because one of those mess ups were you not shutting your mouth. So let's be clear here, sir. Let's be clear. You messed up one time and you have nothing to do with it. Okay, That's actually, 99.9% of the time, I get it right. Okay. You don't, how do you get it right if you have nothing to do? I do nothing. That's not getting Nail it right. It. I, I'm really good at being a doctor. I don't do anything to be, to be a doctor, but that's, that's how I'm good at it. <laughs> anyway, guys, this podcast is about the Mari movie, which I haven't seen yet. <laughs> Wait, Spoilers. Well, hold, on, hold on. Now, hold yeah. on. Let's not, yeah. let's not jump into the Mario stuff yet, because we have something else to talk about that's coming well, yeah, up we this do, week. Well, yeah, we do. We do. That is massive. Huge. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Huge. Huge thing coming this week. Yeah, we're going to continue this argument. <laughs> it's happening. Well, keep, keep it going. Yeah, what, what's 12th, happening? Drip? Wednesday. What? It's oh, happening. yeah. Drip, do you remember we had a bet on that? Do you remember that bet? I don't quite exactly remember what the bet was. Can you? Uh, 
Uh, well, sir, if if the if the uh, direct that you think is going to happen for Zelda, if it happens on the twelfth, now not the same week, on the twelfth, then I have to do something for you. I don't remember what it was. We we didn't have a clear, concise thing. Oh man, it was something that we had to go back and watch. Some- yeah, yeah. But if if, uh, if I podcast to find out <laughs> if I'm right, Drip, if I'm right, I'm and uh and which I am, and the, the, there is no Zelda Direct on the twelfth, then oh, I, I, I do for you. I make you a video. I do a video oh, yeah, for you for video, free. Free video. free video for you. Now the part that I don't remember is what you do for me. What do you do for me? Uh, I, we do I a do. video together on your channel, and I promote yeah. it for That's a right. certain amount of time. That's right. It's all yes. coming back to me. Yeah. Yeah, that's uh, what it was. So, uh, guys, you can plan on uh, next week uh, that, or maybe two, we'll say two weeks that Drip's going to be on my chat, featured on my channel, and he's Listen. going to promote the fudge out of it on his. Listen, YouTube this channel. is happening. I'm telling you, I I really do think we're still getting more, and we're going to be what? We're exactly a month out, five days from now. Correct? We're thirty. We're thirty days out. I'm right? not going to. I'm not going to match it out, especially because it's a podcast. It'll be uploaded after the fact. It's <laughs> okay. Either way, the twelfth. Yes, we have le- almost a month at this point of time recording, about a month. Yeah. Over a month. Uh, so yeah. Wednesday's the 12th. It comes out, you know, May 12th. So, I mean, you know, it, just, well, it makes sense. It's Drip, I, need, I need you to know something, Drip. I need you to know that I was more on board with your argument about there being a direct for Zelda on the 12th. I was more on board with that before... They came out with a 10 minute game pre- uh, presentation of yeah. Tears of the Kingdom. They still after didn't tell the, us anything. After they told us about gameplay. Very clear. And uh, I've already explained to you multi- many times, you've refused to believe it. And when I'm right, I'm going to be very happy about this. Um, they're not going to give you the story. I, I know they did it with lots of other games, and they've done it with, they, 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 they even did it with Breath of the Wild. I understand. Single game. I understand. You're telling me one of the biggest releases, the biggest release for them of the year. They're just going to, nah, it's all good. We won't market it. The, no, on, that's no. That, 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 that's listen, so having naive. having a having a thirty minute direct all about the story of the game is not. I, it's not. not per, be all it's about not promoted. There's plenty of other stuff. We don't know anything. I'm we know about. You. We know how the game mechanics work. What do you mean we don't know anything? That that all we, know, we all we, we know, don't know is story. We know the game. We know what his new abilities are. That's all we know. Listen, you what you what you call me my naive. I'm calling you naive because you really think they're gonna give show you their cards yeah, of what they this do game it every is every single time with Not, every with single this, game. But with this game, yes, this game. Why would this game be this any game. different? Why it is completely different. They've and done I'll, it with, I'll ask you why, because you ask yourself. Do you, you tell me that Nintendo does not treat Zelda differently and their other franchises? I mean, they they market things pretty pretty well the same all the time. This has been a little bit different, but I think it's because they want to wait until this oh, what, what was that? thing that's I'm sorry. Happened. I'm sorry. What was that? I, I couldn't couldn't quite hear that. What, They've what was been that? holding a lot of stuff back with what, this. What, they what, have. Hold on. Before that, before that, you said something about different. What, what was that? A little bit because they're holding oh, things oh, back. Oh, 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 but I can oh, the, tell you right so now. They're, oh, so they're holding things back because they're treating this a little bit different. Listen, that's what, is that what you're saying? I'm so telling you right now, there's absolutely no way we are going to go into this game only knowing what we know right now. There's no way. Uh, I think that, absolutely no, no way. you're right. You're right, and they're gonna they're gonna tweet. They're gonna lots of tweets from between now and the, the date of the game. They're gonna tweet lots of things, and they're gonna repost some clips of that ten minute direct. Uh, not direct. Sorry, they're already uh, doing that. that. They're yeah, doing yeah, that right they're, now, they're, and they're gonna continue to do it. They're gonna do it till we are at nauseum or tired of seeing yeah, all well, those new mechanics. I, I honestly, they're I going think that to was the beginning. Uh, your your best chance of getting more information for Zelda is that they tweet something that is new that we haven't heard yet, but it's in a tweet and it's a short video, if even a video. God, that's hope, that's right. you know what the only reason i hope they do it now because, is just so i can just rub it in your face <laughs> <laughs> listen like, i want i told you w- when i'm wrong or when i'm right either way i'm gonna be happy either way because if i'm right then i'm right i'm happy if i'm yeah. wrong and we got more information and i'm i'm, I'm happy for more information but at the same time the re- they're, they're not going to show up this game because they've already explained to us at nauseum Theoretically, <laughs> ad nauseum, they haven't explained anything, but that this is Breath not of the Wild 2. That this is Breath of the Wild 2. That's what, they, that, that's what they've told us by not telling us anything. This is Breath of the Wild 2. You're going to expect a Breath of the Wild experience with a new story that we're not going to tell you because that's why you're going to buy the game. That's our selling point. If we tell you the selling point before you buy it, then you don't have to buy it. Okay. Sim- simple as that. But let, let me just give you a small list of things we don't know about that people might want to know about before they pay $70 for this game. Are there shrines? Are there dungeons? Uh, I mean, 
you know, what, what are we doing? What is the point? Like we, we need to know, we need a tease of the story. We need something to go off of to be like, okay, those abilities are really cool, but what are we doing? Like, what are we doing with them? We're building stuff. Okay. That's cool. But why, why we have no information on any of that. We don't know, you know, cause some people are like, you know, I don't want shrines. Maybe yeah. they do have shrines, but they're not the same. Maybe it's a, the same concept, different thing. They'd probably want to tell us about that. So like, Hey, remember how you didn't want shrines and you want dungeons. You get both. Uh, so like I've, we've already, um, I don't, we're, this is not a Zelda podcast. We, we will talk about this for hours if we tried to do this, but yeah, I will I mean, tell you that to, I, I've already right answered the, the questions you had, why we don't see it, why we haven't seen it. We need to see stuff. Where is this stuff? I've already explained to you in the past. Why? Be, like why there's no, why they're not telling us about shrines is because they don't want to, they don't want you to, they don't want the people who don't want shrines in the game. People who are like, I don't want shrines to give me dungeons again. They don't want to tell people, Hey, guess what? There's actually just more shrines. And we're, but we're not telling you because you're not going to buy the game. You're going to be upset with us. But they're, the, the, so like well, my guess is they're then they fucked this whole thing up anyway. Because if that is the case, and they already knew that people were going to be pissed, but they did it anyway. This is this is this is a very Nintendo. This is a very problem there anyway. This is a very Nintendo thing to do is to make, to keep shrines in the game, but change them in a way where they're basically dungeons. And I bet you that's what they've done. They did not. They did not go back to done. That's not Nintendo. That's not their style these days. Their style is yeah, not no, to. Their style is not to. Li- their style is right. not to listen to the customer. Their style is to make the customer angry, but also uh, make them like something that they didn't like. They didn't know they liked. And that's well, that's I what mean, they're that, gonna do. You're that's right, what they're gonna because do. It goes back to like what we talked about last week with that crafting system. Like yeah. you know, I've been talking about like there's gonna be a crafting system. There's gonna yeah. be. There's gonna be something. There's gonna be something. And in my head, what I ha- the things I thought it was gonna be. It's completely different, but it's so much better. Like the way that they do it, it fits the game. I just, I think there's going to be more. I think there's a lot more. And I think they're going to do, maybe like you said, maybe we are getting dungeons. Like think, here's what I, and I've told you this before. Here's what I want. Just think Hyrule Castle in uh, Breath of the Wild, but just filled with brooms that are like the shrines to open up to get to new places. Different though. You know what I mean? Yes. I know exactly what you mean that like Hyrule Castle is insane. <laughs> like, yeah, it's insane. But each like, individual, each no individual puzzle. room, each individual, yeah, each individual room is pretty basic in, in the castle. Yeah, yeah, yeah. It's I'm just saying, like kill, kill the enemies, use Magnesis, see if you can find anything that's 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 magnetic. That's essentially yeah. what you do, and then find it's a rock, f- find a, a, an occasional bomb to uh, bomb area to blow well, I mean, a hole into a wall. That, there's no puzzles in, in real. You don't puzzles. have to go through any of it either. You can climb no. up the side of the walls right up to the top if you really yeah. want to. Yeah, uh, Drip, we, we need, we have to stop talking about this. You yeah, know, we do. We, follow the podcast. Okay. You guys know we'll talk more and but more about this. I want to say uh, this Wednesday, the 12th. Yeah, uh, guys, next week we'll know that we'll start the podcast off with uh, either a celebration from me, moi, Uncle Jeep, or a celebration from uh, Turd Face over there. Uh, mm-hmm. Everybody out there, I'm talking the trash now. Uh, everybody out there, uh, I guess I'm going to bring this up from uh, some chat here. Excuse me, one second. <laughs> I had a belch. It was necessary. Um, Jason Barker in the chat. I want to see. He brought something up because he was talking about you were talking about your popcorn belt. Yeah. Uh, belt. Bucket. Bucket. It's not a, it's and not a belt. It's not a belt. I, Can't confirm. I wish it was a popcorn belt. That would be amazing. I would love one of those. <laughs> Delicious. Uh, Jason said Cin- uh, Cinemark was sold out of their buckets on day one. And that brings yeah, this to- is the AMC one. Yeah. AMC you got to go to the. Yeah. Yeah. Well, they're, probably, they're probably they're probably sold out too. And I no, said, no, a- no, no, they'll, they'll have them. Go to the mall. AMC- Go to the mall, man. They had they had bought like, dude, they had so many of them. Uh, yeah, in your area. <laughs> yeah, he's in my area. I never. Oh, oh, that's your buddy. I forgot about that. He's in my area. You're I'm telling saying, your buddy. Yeah. You're telling he's, your buddy how to get. The, like I see what you're doing. Thirty minutes. Yeah. 30 okay. Minutes right. Drive. Just go I to forgot. The mall, I, man. I go forgot. Okay, all right. Um, but speaking of speaking of the buckets being sold, because that's actually a thing people are actually experiencing the, a, a shortage of these 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 buckets and things, and that, there's a good reason for that, Drip. That's because uh, the box office uh, for this the, like the, this this movie it went absolutely. This movie passed Sonic as far as as, as, as well. Oh, I, don't, God, I don't I don't have numbers. Sonic. I don't I don't I have, have the numbers, numbers. with him, but oh, I do Sonic know Sonic doesn't even matter, dude. You I do know, know that. You know Sonic well, numbers? Can, can I Drip? <laughs> Stop interrupting me. Now, hold on. Let me tell you this. <laughs> to finish your thing. Here's Sonic numbers. This is uh, opening weekend for Sonic. Weekend. Yeah. Okay. Not day. Weekend. 72.1 million for Sonic the Hedgehog 2. 
Before, previously, the number one gaming video uh, video game movie. No, that's what I read. Uh, maybe opening weekend, but no, there's there's bigger ones. There's bigger ones. I got all those little. I think I think I think there was a, that article was opening weekend. Okay, opening weekend. That may be true. That may be true. Biggest opening weekend. Yeah. Yes. Okay, Mr. Numbers, go for it. You got my numbers. Okay, that <laughs> uh, that that's uh that's opening weekend. So that's what Thursday, yeah. Friday, Saturday, Sunday. Yeah. Day one on a Wednesday. On a Wednesday. Uh, the Mario movie made sixty six point four million dollars in one day, and you're wondering why the popcorn buckets are gone. <laughs> <laughs> That's why. That's why. That's exactly why. Holy crap, it's dude! It's nuts. Sonic in the first the first weekend was seventy million. This game, this movie, in one, one day. day on a Wednesday. On a Wednesday. I don't know <laughs> what Sonic was either. Could have been similar because listen, there was a lot of hype for the Sonic movie. I was included in that hype. We didn't talk about it on the podcast or anything, but I I was very excited for the Sonic movie. I did not see it in theaters. I waited till it was on uh, on demand or whatever. I watched Are you it. Talking on, about rented Sonic it. one or two? Uh both, both. Uh, I don't. Yeah, I'm talking about this. Two. Is, this is two. I, I was. I was, two I, was excited, I was excited for both two. Uh, wait, bigger? You mean numbers wise? I don't. As far know. as numbers, I, I didn't look up. Probably, one. Just, probably because that number one was uh, the first Sonic movie was very well received because of what they did where they 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 changed the sonic character to meet yeah, what the right. fans wanted yeah. and that was a big deal and people wanted to see it yeah. because of that like just like i did too we like to thank them for making a cha- a positive change that we asked for yeah. like it's not often companies do that for us so I mean, it, was that was, good. That was awesome. it was good mm-hmm. uh so some other things here that are very very interesting uh the predictions for opening weekend now we heard uh, Sonic Two was seventy-two million. Yeah. The predictions for opening weekend for the Mario movie are around two hundred and twenty-five million globally. Wow. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> wow. Right. And to put that in perspective, uh, Ant Man and the Wasp: Quantum Mania opened at two hundred and twenty-five million. Holy! And that's I mean, Ant Man's that's it's not Avengers, but I mean, right, listen, but it, yeah, it's, I it mean, is, it's a Marvel yeah, it's, franchise, it's, dude. Yeah, it's crazy. Holy crap! Jesus, the, what the what the heck, man? I, I've got a few more. I got a few more little fun things, and this this is where I want to. I really want to talk about like what this movie could possibly do. Yeah. Now th- that two hundred twenty-five million, that's just projections, but I mean, let's you know, let's be honest. We're already looking at sixty-six million in a day. Yeah, I mean, you know, I'm sure they can probably do that. We we haven't even seen Friday yet. You know, Saturday when people are actually going to be going to see it. Um, so the two biggest uh, game adaptations to hit theaters. Okay, the biggest one was Warcraft, which was like World of Warcraft. I guess I don't remember that one, but I guess um, it made total. 439 million at the box office, right? Yep. It's pretty big. Sure. Next one, next one below that was Detective Pikachu at uh, 433 million, also massive. I think this is going to beat that. I think it's going to be pretty easy to beat that. I mean, if if we look at what I've seen some other things online, it looks like Universal's in charge of this. You know, Illumination's owned by Universal. So, yep. uh what they've been doing uh, like post pandemic with their movies and a lot of the animated stuff is it's about a 30 day window in theaters. And then they take it to where, you know, then they get it out of there and take it to where it goes. I mean, I know it's going to slow down after opening weekend, but, and we'll get into the reviews here in a little bit. You know, people are enjoying this movie. People are, a lot of people are going to go see this. I mean, when you think about, when you think about what this movie could actually do, I mean, we're you know just opening weekend. We're gonna be, we're gonna be about halfway there to beat Warcraft, which is let's just say four hundred forty million. That's insane. Uh, yeah, so we're we're gonna be at around two twenty, two twenty five ish, halfway there after you know your Wednesday, Thursday, Friday, Saturday, Sunday. Uh, I don't know. I think I can do it. I think it's gonna be probably. Easily, the biggest uh, the game biggest game adaptation we've ever seen in theaters. Easily, that's just crazy to me. Like I expected this to have a good reception. Absolutely, um, I personally did not expect it to like. 
be the best gaming movie of all time in the box office. That was, I, I, maybe I did, but like by the ever slightest margin, yeah. like just like it ever, it just, I, I thought it would edge out Sonic, but I did not think we were in this territory. And oh Dave, yeah, I mean, it's crushing. Sonic has, there's, Sonic's left in the dust at this point. <laughs> That's not a speed joke either. <laughs> <laughs> Should have been, but it's not. Oh, I need so- I need a soundboard like a yeah, row that, that was actually good. actually that was that was no, no, I totally sh- meant to do that. That was a good, that's a great one. That. Listen, half the time um, people say uh, pun unintended or pun intended, you, they always intend it. Listen, every time you always yeah, you always I, say don't I, lie I did yourself. intend that, but I mean it's crazy because uh, I mean okay, let's let's talk about the reviews because I think yeah. that's very interesting. That's a very interesting thing. Critic reviews. What do we add on Rotten Tomatoes? Yeah, let, let me let me start like this, Drip, because uh, we I did open up uh, on Discord and YouTube for some questions, and oh, uh, yeah, we'll uh, we'll, uh, we'll answer these. Qu- I didn't put them into the set list. I'm an idiot, but we'll we'll sprinkle in the questions as we go throughout the episode. And this question, speaking speaking of the reviews, uh, someone asked a question over here. Uh, I think that was on YouTube. I got to pull that. I've questioned the three different areas. So forgive me when I, when I uh, get a second here. So someone asked that yesterday. Uh, it was super, super Star Wars fan 67 asked on YouTube. Uh, thoughts on Rotten Tomatoes score being uh, 46, which this was yesterday. Yeah, this is Wednesday. Today is now. Thursday. Today, currently, Rotten Tomatoes scores are 53 for the critics and a whopping 96% audio, uh, audience score. That's yeah, wild. 96%. That I mean, nearly everybody. Nearly everybody who is a normal person. It was wasn't it? Uh, yeah, about, right about. And nearly everybody who's watched this movie as a fan thinks it's a positive experience. Uh, and f- half of the critics, 50-50 of the critics, some of them think it is a good, a good experience, and some think that it, is, it is not. So drip. What, what do you, you saw? The, so I didn't. The question, I, the question is why? What do you? Uh, why do the critics feel this way? I mean, no, I just th- just thoughts. Just simply our thoughts I on would that. Now. Say, it's because it, the movie doesn't really have the greatest story. I said it in the video yesterday. It doesn't really have a story. I mean, it does. They do a lot of stuff with the characters. They develop the characters a a pretty. A pretty good amount. I mean, Peach has a lot of development, a lot of character development. Mario's got a, you know, Mario and Luigi have a nice little backstory. You, you get pieces of Donkey Kong's history. He's got some stuff going on. And I mean, Toad's just hilarious, but you do get that character development, but you don't get, you don't get an actual story. There's no plot, really. I mean, it is. It's the same plot as any Mario game, you know. Peach isn't stolen, obviously, but you're, you're, you're doing a thing. You're doing a thing. This thing happens. You, you go through the motions. You do the thing. The movie's over. There's just so much other stuff. And I think that's why, I think that's why the critics don't like it. It's because it, it just it does lack that. But if you're a fan of Mario, you've played any of the games, like it doesn't even matter that there's no – it really doesn't even matter that there's no story. It's that – it, there's that much stuff packed into this movie. I didn't even care. I was just looking around to see what else they were going to put in there next. I mean, yeah. it, it, there's just so much. It's, you can't even... I guarantee I probably missed half of it. There's so <laughs> much. I mean, it, yeah. it, it's insane. It is from the start of the movie to the end, like literally all the way to the end of the, the, the credits. Easter egg yeah. after Easter egg after Easter egg. I mean, they're just... It's, it's great. So for fans... I mean, that's why it's a 96 for critics. I mean, they're, you know, they're just doing their job. There's no yeah. story. I mean, there is no story. Yeah, there is, but it's, it's not good. I mean, it's, it's, it's a basic Mario game story. This is, a, this is a good example of an effective way to use Rotten Tomatoes scores to make a decision, right? This is a really oh, good yeah. way. And uh, Drip and Jeep and I, or Dr- Drip and I, will, will, will help you understand if you don't know what I mean. So, like, the audience, people just going to see it. They're, they're going, the people who are not critics, people just who are happy to go watch a movie that they're excited for, and they, want, they just want to know when they leave that theater, did they have a positive experience? And you're seeing it, 96% of those people, average people, just do they just have a positive experience at the theater yeah now the critics job is different 
They don't go to watch movies to enjoy it. They go to critique it. And their job is to go and, and see what the issues are. And they did that for us. While even, this is the, Now, if you just were to see 96%, you would have thought this was one of the greatest movies of all time. Don't lie to yourself. You'd go and see 96% and go, this is a great freaking movie. Yeah, and man. the critics are there to humble everybody and go, oh, whoa, 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 whoa. Now, listen, there's lots of fundamental issues with this. We got this issue with the story and blah, 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 blah. This is an effective way to read these scores and make your decision. I think everyone, I should, if, you, if, you ha- if you had a, a, a fear of watching this movie because you didn't think it was going to be good, you should be feel good knowing that you can spend your money on this movie and you're going to have a positive experience. Oh, now, yeah. it, now, if you're a critic, now I'm, I'm Tyson in our chat, he's a lot like me. Uh, we're both, well, at least I admit it, I'm a critic of things. I'm very critical of, of lots of things. Right? And, and Tyson, I feel like you probably are as well. Um, I'm probably going to be on the side of with Rotten Tomatoes, uh, the the negative score, because I critique things. I just can't help it. I'm that kind of a guy. I, I go in and I you I, I, <laughs> no. I critic no. I critique things. So I, not that I'm not going to not that I'm not going to enjoy the movie. I bet you all the negative reviews for Rotten Tomatoes were also from the critics. Or they also probably would tell you that they've had a good time. You know, I'm, I'm sure none of them would say I had a bad time. They're just doing like you said. They're doing their job. Yeah. So so. You know, while I'm probably going to be on that 53% side of like, eh, it was, you know, there's issues with this movie. I'm also going to be on the side of the sc- of the positive score. I'm going to have a good time because, like I like you've I've alluded to here, I have not seen the movie. That's not because not by design. I just didn't get the chance to see it. Probably be uh, not this weekend, but the weekend after. Um, so I will see this movie, and we will drip. We will do another podcast in the upcoming future, hopefully the near future of a spoiler because this is spoiler free, guys. Spoiler free, but we yeah, will do is we will do a spoiler. Uh, all spoiler episode coming up pretty soon here. Um, and you know, we'll, we'll, we'll and I'll, I've, obviously, I've already seen the movie at that point, and we can really dive into it. But this episode is gonna, 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 gonna be spoiler free and just things we can talk about without spoiling your experience. Well, and uh, something else you said, uh, we were talking about Tyson. Tyson and I had a, a short conversation about it last night, actually, because he's he went to see it, he texted me when he got out of the theater, and uh, the lack of story thing, something we kind of talked about that I wanted to bring up here, and you and I actually talked about this earlier too. You know, the critics are saying you know, there's no story. You know, it's kind of it kind of lacks a little bit of little bit of depth, which which I agree a little bit. Like I said, they did a really good job with these characters. Like we may not have got a story, but I feel like I know a lot yeah. of the backstory that they can go forward with. But that's the thing. This is fine for me. This is fine. The nostalgia, the Easter eggs, all the stuff. They threw it all in our faces super hard for the first one. They kind of they kind of developed the characters out a little bit. Not a great story. Obviously, there's going to be a second one. We we need to see, we need to see more the next time. We need a better story. We well, need some, we need more of more of what this one was missing. And maybe, I mean, not maybe a little less of what it had, but we don't need that much in the next one. The nostalgia, the the everything. I mean, it's going to be there, but I, I do agree with that. But I think everybody should just enjoy this one for what it is. Let's worry about that. Let's worry about yeah. that when the next one comes out. Let, you know what I mean? Let's yeah. Let's answer another question here. This will be from Discord. Their name. I just realized their name. Uh, it's not a bad word. Uh, I don't just know if they meant. Oh, I don't know. I don't know if they meant it that way. They could be totally coincidental, but. I'm not going to read your name person on Drip's Discord, but uh, they asked us to rate the movie 1 to 10. So without going into going getting too far into, because we will get there, Drip, but overall, your opinion, rate the movie 1 to 10 for, for this person. It's, 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 I mean, I it's 8 and a half. It's 8 and a half. It's up there. It's good. Yeah. It's great. All things considered? Yeah. Oh, I mean, didn't have a story. Didn't care. <laughs> I mean, <laughs> yeah, I'm telling well, you, man. I'm telling you. There was one point... When and I think I think the part I think the actual part is in the trailers when that when they first jump on to to Rainbow Road in the cars like when you see it in 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 the movie kind of in the context of what's going on and stuff like I teared up a little bit man I'm not gonna lie like the nostalgia hit hard dude yeah it was I was I mean you know it was also ten in the morning I don't know maybe <laughs> I was just tired so. dude can we just can we just clarify that you were watching. A Mario, the Mario basically a kids movie at 10 a.m. by yourself, tearing up. <laughs> a movie, a, that, a movie that's notoriously known for having no story. You're uh, tearing up over the story. 
I'm a nerd. It's all right. You are all a right. nerd. Uh, let's get one more question in uh, from Full Metal Knee over on uh, my Discord. Uh, and now, now she didn't have this, uh, or they did not have this uh, this knowledge of the fact that I did not see the movie yet. But uh, they asked, can both of you give your opinions on the casting of each Mario character, whichever which uh, whichever characters you feel are worth assessing? Maybe a scale, or uh, maybe a themed scale of Mario voice. Wahoo! To oh no, <laughs> oh, we have to do it in this. I don't. Sure. What's in between? Oh, I don't know. Uh, no, there's too much. There's too much in between there. I don't. I it's mean, a one. A, a one. To, a one to ten scale. But oh no, being one and Yahoo being a ten. Okay. Okay. Um, where are we starting? Uh, let's start. Let's Mario. Start with, Mario. Let's start with, Chris Pratt's voice. We need to hear it drip. Uh, what did you think? You've heard the whole movie now. Dude, it was great. It was, it was fun. Great. His his performance was great. You said. Okay. Listen. It was. When you, when you, okay, this is what I'll say. Hearing it in the the trailers, just kind of out of context of things, and we only got a little bit here and there, I was still like, eh, it's fine, it's whatever, it's not that bad, I'm good with it. But once you get him in the movie, and he's there, you know, you know, acting along with Charlie Day and Seth Rogen, I mean everybody, it fits right in. His voice. It's seamless. I did not think about Chris Pratt at any point in the movie when I was watching it. I, I was watching Mario. I was sold. You know what I mean? Like, you know, how yeah. sometimes you see it like that's a bad voice. And you just think about the voice actor. I was sold. Like, that was Mario. I had no problem with it. So I, I mean, I was I was good with it. I was worried. But it was, uh, so, it was good. Hey, here, here's a fun idea. She also uh, they also put in there. Uh, w- give assign an item from Mario Kart to the actor's performance on their voice acting. So, like, if you thought, you know, that's a, it's very subjective. It's just for fun. So get, assign Chris Pratt an item. What would you give as, as an item? What would you give as, as, his voice acting? Like a coin? Uh, I'll give him a... Uh, like, a, it was okay. I'll, I'll take a coin, yeah, but, like... it was good. I'll give him, I'll give him a... I'll give him a power-up mushroom. A right, mushroom? All right. One mushroom. All right. Mushroom. Fair enough. You, well, Luigi. We're going we're gonna to fire through these. Mm. Luigi. Charlie Day was awesome. Perfect. I mean, what what you get in the trailers is what you get in the movie. He's perfect. Give I want to give, uh, give me a Luigi's Mansion, please, please. You cut out there for some reason, but you asked for a Luigi's Mansion. Luigi's movie. Mansion movie, yes, please. Yeah. Oh, oh, he was great. He was perfect. He is Luigi. You, you'd give him. You give him all the like the items as all he's the items get, he's around get a you. One up. He'll get a one up mushroom. He'll get an extra life. All right, like all right, fair mushroom. enough. Very good. Um, Bowser, Jack Black. I mean, it's Jack Black. He was he was great. We're talking about performance, not about the character. His performance or anything was very good. Okay, performance very yes. good. Yeah, very believable as Bowser. I loved the voice he had. Um, I don't want to. Oh, I don't want to spoil anything. But there's certain Do not parts where anything. it's like, yes, this is awesome. This is so cool. Um, but I will say the character Bowser, and I said this in the video yesterday, but the character, I felt like in the beginning of the movie, they really dove deep. Like, they took everything from the games, like what Bowser is, what he's about, and and they really did, they they put it in the movie, but I felt like they went a little too hard, a little too early on one of those areas, and it kind of, I was kind of like, uh... It's all right. But then, I don't know, as the movie went on, they started developing a little bit more and seeing a little bit more of what he's doing with this and that and whatever. It, it evened out, and by the end, it was fine. But it, at first, I, I don't know. Voice, great. I, I don't well, see, like what, 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 what item are you giving him? What item are you giving him? Um, he gets a... I'll give him... I'll give him a red shell. Probably a below red the shell? red mushroom. But uh, maybe right on par. See, I think a red, a red shell Jack is Black better is than a mushroom, personally. Is it? Okay, so I, well, I mean, It's very subjective. <laughs> That's fair enough. Okay, all right. So, uh, Donkey Kong. I mean, Seth Rogen, dude. What, mean, what it, what... Have you heard Seth Rogen speak? <laughs> Spo- spoiler alert. <laughs> spoiler alert. I'll give you a second. If you don't want to hear it, it's not a huge spoiler. Yes. He does. <laughs> he <it>. goes, <laughs> yes. Twice. Because he, he, he does Twice. his own voice. He's laughing. Yeah. It's, it's how he laughs. He's not joking. Yes. He, he laughs, laughs that way. He does the, he does the Seth Rogen laugh twice. <laughs> but I, but what, what would you say? Would you like, give him a quick assessment. He was, go- he was really good as Donkey Kong. And honestly, they gave Donkey Kong um, 
a lot more depth than I, like I said, the characters had a lot of depth. So, uh, he did great. He did good. I mean, it, again, I feel like he's right there with Charlie Day, maybe not as good, but he was exactly what I expected. You know, he was, Ooh. he was good. I'll give him a, uh, I'll also give him a, a, a one up mushroom. <laughs> but no, I'll, give him, I'll give him a power up mushroom with, with, uh, with, uh, Chris Pratt. All right. Sweet. Uh, and then let's do them both at the same time. Not that, no, uh, uh, that's a cop out. Let's not do that. Peach. Uh, Anya Taylor Joy. Uh, she was great. Peach was honestly, I mean, she got the most screen time of anybody. She's like the main character of the movie, honestly. Um, I thought she was good. She's got a nice little backstory that they, they, they did. And yes, yeah, she was a great, I mean, she had some funny moments, especially like right when her and Mario first meet, like, yeah, that was, it was nice. It was funny. Um, I thought, yeah, I thought she did great. She's what in a lot you, of the movie, but yeah, what I, what I, I'll, I'll give, give her? her, I'll give her a, uh, I don't know. She, she, she was good. She was very good. I'm going to give her. She'll get she'll get a red mushroom too. Sweet. And f- last but not least, Toad. Michael or uh, Keegan Michael Keegan Key. Michael Key was uh, I mean, man, he was probably not not a whole I mean, a good amount of screen time, but I would have loved to have seen more of him. He just had some one-liners and stuff. He was really funny. I mean, he was definitely probably as, far as, as to be expected. Comedy goes, he was he's probably the the funniest one. Um he did great. He sounds like Toad. And that's that's the thing. I said it with uh, with Chris Pratt. Everybody in the movie, there wasn't any point except for when Seth Rogen did his laugh. That was the only point when I thought about an actor and was taken out of the movie for a second. You know what I mean? Yes. Like, everyone was very believable. I, I mean, as a whole, they they were all great. But yeah, I mean, Toad was was a very good character. His voice is his voice is perfect. Uh, he was very funny. Uh, I want more Toad. More Toad. I give more Toad. toad. I give Toad. Uh, I give Toad the uh, the star. Toad gets the star. Hey, awesome! Uh, I got a. I got. I have indigestion. This beer is making me burp tonight. <laughs> Excuse Sorry. me. You heard? I think you guys heard that, man. Was oh, I definitely of, heard that. That was a lot, uh, guys. Uh, so I think we have a couple more questions. Let's get some more questions. Um, over on the YouTube side, I believe. Yes. Last question. Uh, thoughts on, like, uh, we kind of already went over this. Sorry, uh, Joy- the Joystick Drift Podcast. Thank you for, for commenting on our YouTube community page post. Uh, I forgot to, to ask this because I, I, I thought that was a question, but I couldn't remember. Thoughts on the Mario, uh, so, sorry, thoughts on Mario's voice now that you've heard it fully in the movie. You kind of, we've kind of already went over that. It's good, we, yeah. So, yeah, Chris shout, shout out to the Joystick, Dro- Joystick Drift Podcast. He did a good podcast. job. He did Sweet. a really good job. Sweet. Uh, okay, uh, so let's look at our, our little set, set list here. I'm clicking lots of windows, doing lots of things over here. Um, stalling. There we go. Um, so, Drip, it's time for that part of the podcast where we talk about... To be t- we went over story, I think, the lack of the story. We, we, yeah. we've, we've talked enough about that. Yeah, 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 yeah. So, again, not, me not seeing it, I'm going to ask you a question here. You know, you kind of seem like, and I kind of assume, I could assume this, but... You think that there's going to be spinoffs? I mean, they, that's kind of how they oh, built well, this movie, right? Is is they built it with the idea that there should be spinoffs? Yeah, I, I mean, it's it's very clear. I mean, there's there's been huge rumors of a Donkey Kong movie already, which that is with the stuff that we saw just from when they went there. That is a movie. That is several movies. There's so much stuff there they could do. I mean, they brought in all the other characters. You know what I mean? Yeah, like all the Donkey Kong people. Like they were all there. So that that's obviously going to happen. I mean, we're getting more Mario movies too. I, I mean, they, they don't have this, you know, they didn't go to Illumination for nothing. You know what I mean? Yeah. Illumination is owned by Universal. You know, they've got their own theme parks in the Universal parks. Like, this is something that is going to be going forward. They're going to make money together with this. I, yeah, I think this is going to go for a long time. I mean, I can see what? Three, four, five Mario movies, spinoffs, Donkey Kong, a few of those. I'd like to see Luigi's Mansion one, two, and three. I mean, why not? I mean, that would probably only get one, but if they do it, they should base it off three, because that hotel was sick. Um, and, and you know, there's a, there's also rumors of uh, 
a Zelda movie also done by Illumination, which yeah. I want to see. But I mean, I, I kind of want to go back and touch on the thing we were talking about earlier about the lack of story. Yes. Tyson and I mentioned Tyson and I talked about this last night too. You can't do you cannot do Legend of Zelda like this. You can do it animated. It can't be like this. No. It's I, mean, and have I, a- I haven't even seen the movie yet, but like all the reviews, I can make a a, a, a concise opinion on yeah, the fact it, that yeah, there's no way you can make this movie the same way you'd made it. You make a Zelda movie. No, I mean I'd I'd much rather <laughs> see a live action Zelda than an animated one. But I'll take yeah. what I can get at this point. We got nothing. So I mean, th- they're going to have to have some really good story for a Zelda, a Zelda movie, a- and I'd like it to be an original one because this as as little of a story as there was. It was it was an original Mario story. You know what I mean? Yeah. Like they start out in Brooklyn, which I don't know. An original was, Mario story. That's the that's the headline of your review. It and is no one's no, one, no one's going to li- watch listen to your review cuz they're going to be like Bro. It's an original Mario story. That's not a very good story, but it's original. <laughs> it is original. I can't wait to see this movie. I I have lots of things to say that I don't know yet. I'm like itching to say things and I don't have any opinions. Like I, I, I want to have opinions on it and I don't. And I, I really want to check it out to for you guys. And we'll make another podcast later in the future for where I can give my opinions on. But yeah, I mean, for sure, a nice overview about everything went on. Um, drip. I don't, I don't, I don't, I have nothing left to say, nothing left to add other than the fact that I want to talk about Zelda and, and uh, the, the movie, Zelda movie, uh, spinoff potential. Do you think that this is going to be obviously, I think at least, obviously this is going to be a, a like Alex in the, in the chat a second ago, kind of like comparing it to like the Marvel cinematic universe. This is going to be a Nintendo cinematic universe. Uh, don't, uh, don't you think? Yes. And with, no, Mar- with think... Mario, with Mario. Yeah. Okay. Yeah. 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 With Mario. Yeah. Luigi. Donkey yes. Kong. That's clearly set up. This was Avengers one. And, this and, Mario movie and, and, was and... Avengers one or, or maybe yeah. Iron Man. This was Iron Man. Ooh, maybe. Iron Man. I don't know. I don't, it's, it's hard because there's so many characters in this. But yeah, can't talk about it. But post credit scene set up another character that we haven't seen yet. So they've already expanded it, even at the end of the movie. Uh, yeah, this is going to go. This is going to be a cinematic universe that's expanded just like we see in Marvel. You know, they bring in new characters or in a post credit scene. It's like, oh, you'll never guess who was in the post credit scene. Then you go and see it, you're like, oh, well, it's crazy. You know? Yeah. I mean, they're doing the same thing here. They're doing the exact same thing. I see this, uh, I don't know how interconnected they're going to be. I think they will be their own separate stories, just with the same characters in the separate story. I don't think they're going to, I don't think they're going to go as interconnected as we see with like Marvel or what Star Wars is doing now on Disney Plus. Well, I, I nat- we'll dude, that. naturally this is interconnected. Like, like already they start off, it, it's unlike Iron Man in the sense that they start off with like everybody in the same movie because that's kind of yeah. Mar- that's Nintendo's thing. So by default, it's kind of like a Marvel Cinematic Universe. Not like they earned it. Like it's just by default, it's going to yeah. be like that. Well, it's mean, more, and, and, it's yeah. more spinning it off into individual, individual movies. That's like the interesting thing. Are they going to do that? Yeah, and I mean, we've seen the success you can have with something like that. So it's, I mean, it's crazy for for you to take this many characters and not at least try. You know, everyone else is trying to do it. It's, it's uh, the potential uh, is there to make a lot of money. Uh, we have one final question for the during the recording portion of this podcast. It's from uh, Alex Switch Corner in the the chat. Uh, question: When does Jeep think that the next Mario uh, game will land on the Nintendo? The Nintendo. Oh, the Nintendo. No, no, sorry, the Nintendo. The Nintendo. The Nintendo. The Nintendo. Nintendo. Uh, uh, when, you know, how, however, it is. That's an inside it's, joke. We'll get we'll yes, get to that in the after show for the stream. That's great. That's um, hilarious. I, Alex, I blame it on Alex. You. Always check his work. Always. <laughs> Listen, how many how many reasons do I give you? Almost none, because we don't need it. Yeah, like one. I think I've had to say, like, oh no, I got to take this out. I've yeah, seen like very, one thing that I've thrown in and be like, oh, that's got to go. Very rarely do we do it's we rare. have a uh, do we it's and, and usually you, these days at least it's something I intentionally added that I thought would, maybe would work, but I was I knew that maybe it wouldn't work, so I had a revision ready to go. So like to be fair, it wasn't a mistake. I made a mistake in Alex's video today. I I made a boo boo. I sorry, but we'll get to that in the after show, guys. Uh, can't wait to come back with you guys in a few weeks where we get to the spoiler version of this uh, podcast. Thank you guys for hanging out in the chat. We're gonna get to you guys in just a second. 
second. For those of you listening on audio platforms, if you if you want to check out our faces, you can go over to Spotify, uh, download us over there, or you can watch us over in our YouTube YouTube channel, youtube.com slash drip jeeb. Soon to be changed, maybe? Who knows? Ooh, Who knows? Mysterious. So uh, mysterious. We, we will see you guys next week. Peace.